Well, we go back to a top story, the World Refugee Day, and we want to connect now to get some perspective uh, on the growing ref uh, global refugee crisis uh, with Joe Millman of the International Organization of Migration. Joe, welcome to Africa 54. Thank you. Now, first, one of the things that hits you when you listen to the UNHCR report is the sheer numbers. Uh, are things only getting grimmer and grimmer by the year? I hate to look at it that way. Uh, the numbers are going up, that's true. Uh, we have a, a human phenomenon of, of great mobility all over the world right now. It's difficult to simply say all of it's distressed. In fact, most of it probably isn't. Internal migration in emerging economies is also a huge mover of people right now. Uh, what seems to be the biggest challenge right now is getting different sectors of the world or different uh, lobes, let's say, of the globe to assimilate, to understand that this is a long-term marriage between the jobless South and the job-rich North, a job-rich North that's aging terribly quickly and is going to need young people and young, young workers you know, to fill uh, state coffers and deliver the kind of financing that, that these governments have promised their elderly citizens. So we know there's a long-term solution. We're just waiting for the world to, to embrace it and understand this is the management we have to work towards. Now, again, one of the biggest challenges is that uh, how you deal with people who are in refugee camps and those who are displaced from their homes but are not in refugee camps, right? Well, yes. I mean, you have a, a compounded issue right now, which is the, excess of, uh, the accessibility of technology. Uh, in, in my youth, you know, 30 years ago, a refugee was isolated. He was unable to, to know if he even had any kind of options to go home, to go to a third country, to, to improve a situation where he is. Today, with so much technology literally at people's fingertips, they, they're getting solutions and they're hearing about them. And they, they find that it's within their capacity quite often to change their lives right where they are. So they're moving either, either out of the camps and into the society of the, of the host country or, or much further, thousands of miles away. They have access to financing. They hear about know-how. They network with their peers. And they know how to get on the move and change their lives in a matter of months. And this is really unstoppable. It's a good thing for a migrant to know that he has options, but it's, it's terrifying for, for planners, let's say, for governments that, that want stability and want predictability. And now it's a world that's not so predictable. Yeah. Now, we know a continent like Africa has a great burden of refugees. Uh, is it getting the kind of help it, it requires, it needs, or what's the situation, briefly? Well, I mean, what's the situation for a whole continent is not a brief answer. Uh, we think that there are, there are solutions close to home. We would love to see Africa, like Europe, have sort of a border-free zone within, its, within various regions. You know, migrants don't necessarily want to get on flimsy boats and risk their lives in the Mediterranean. If there's a good job two countries away, they, they'd love to be able to go there legally and, and have uh, permission to work. Uh, mm -hmm. So we think that's a solution that, that will come soon and that yeah. Africa will embrace. Well, Joel, thank you very much for your insight. Pleasure, for, pleasure yeah. Vincent. Thank you. Well, Joel Millman is the spokesman for the International Organization for Migration, speaking to us live via Skype from Geneva.